Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I hope everyone had an amazing weekend. Today I figured I would sit down and film a get ready with me. So I'm gonna show you this makeup look, this hairstyle, as well as my full outfit. I'm heading to lunch in a little bit, so I figured why not film myself getting ready and also just like chat with you guys because it's been a little bit. So if you guys wanna get ready with me today, then please keep watching. To start off this look, I'm using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. My skin's been super oily, so I've been using this guy the past couple of weeks. And when applying this, it's good to apply it in a downwards motion. So I just got in the new airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. I just got back from a trip last night, so I had some new in and I figured let's try something new for today's look. So I have number eight warm and number nine cool. I'm probably gonna use mostly number eight, but I have a little bit of a spray tan still, so we'll see. This looks a little bit, um like yellowy for me. But let me see once I blend it in what it looks like. I feel like I can make it work. So I'm gonna just take a foundation brush and just buff in my neck. So this orange shirt, I actually got this like orange two-piece outfit last week and I really wanted to wear it. So I'm gonna wear it for today's video. And that's what's gonna kind of like inspire this whole look. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet for the eye makeup look. I have the new Jackie Aina palette and I really, really wanted to try it. So, and I know there's some like orangey shades, but I think I'm gonna keep it like kind of neutral for the eyes because I kind of wanna do like orange rhinestones. I told you guys, like it's this new obsession. I was in LA over the weekend and on Saturday I went to Disneyland, which was my first time in Disneyland, which it was so much fun, we had the best time, but even for Disneyland I wore rhinestones, like I had rhinestones under my eyes, I just, I just love it so much. And I think it makes your eyes look bigger too, which is really cool. So this foundation dries very, very quickly, it's very matte, which I love matte foundations, but it is um, very like dry, so if you have dry skin I probably would not recommend this for you. Um, I have very oily skin, especially in the summer, so I like the consistency personally. But I'm more of like a matte foundation type of person anyway. So yeah, it ended up working pretty good. It looked a little bit um, intense at first, but now it's all good. So it claims that it stays all day and night, so I will test it out and let you guys know how accurate it really is. Um, I love Charlotte Tilbury products, but they are really pricey so let's see if it really does stay so how are you guys doing honestly how are you doing i hope you guys are doing well if you are i'm so happy for you and i hope everything continues to go well and if you are having a bad day just know that everything will get better and some things that really help me on my bad days is to either talk to somebody or even just journal and write some things down just to kind of like get it out of your head because when you kind of just sit there and dwell and think and not really let it out it's like all this built up energy so it will get better it will get easier just let it out and if you don't have anyone to talk to that's okay too just get a journal journal it down that always always helps me personally so i love you so to contour my nose i'm going to use this krylon in the color coco it's like a cream foundation it's one of my favorites to use. Whatever is left over my brush, I just kind of like go like this above my lip and below it. It kind of just adds some dimension to the face. But I'm not going to do like cream contour all over my face. The Holy Grail, the Shape Tape in Medium. So, as I was saying, I was in LA last week. I left Thursday and I got back last night. I had a really, really exciting weekend. Probably one of the highlights of my entire career. And while I was like in the moment, I like almost was, I was like tearing up because I don't know, thinking about something, talking about something for a really long period of time, and then actually being in the moment is so different. And it was just like a dream come true and it's something that like I could have never even imagined would have happened for myself. So I cannot wait to share it with you guys. It's really, it's gonna be coming very soon. 
so I will fill you in, of course. But yeah, honestly, like, I have no one else to thank besides you guys because all of your support, and I know I say this all the time, but like, I genuinely mean it like without all of you guys and without all of your support none of this would even be possible so thank you and oh my god yesterday sunday the 25th was my eight year anniversary on youtube eight freaking years how how is that even possible i was 20 years old in a weird freaking place in my life like whenever i meet someone that's like 19 18 19 20 and they're like really stressed about life and they're like, you know, really hard on themselves. One thing I always say is like, I get it and I promise you that's like the hardest age. Like from like 18 to even like 24, like, I mean, it's still hard now, but it's like you're just coming into the real world. You're either in college, you're like just getting out of high school and starting to experience like what the real world is. And just know that like it's really hard at this age you think you know everything but you're still so young and it will get easier it's just you know you're trying to figure out what you're going to do with your life so believe me when i was 20 years old it was really bad like i was in like a really bad place so when i was 20 you know i was still in college i was going to community college and I was working three jobs and I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like I, I was doing makeup at the time, like freelance work and I was going to college and the reason that I went to community college was because I knew I wanted to do something with makeup. Like that was my passion and I just couldn't imagine myself going away to a school that was like super expensive when like my passion was like makeup. So I figured let me go for business. So I went to community college for business and ugh, it was it was really hard it was just like a hard transition because you know when you're in high school you're living at home you don't know like reality doesn't hit you so you know at the time my parents had just gone through a divorce so I you know was working I ended up having like three jobs at one time which I was always like a really hard worker like I always wanted to be working um, but it was kind of hard you know balancing working and going to school and all that and just kind of you know, having bills where like in high school, you don't even like know about any of that yet. So I was for sure in like a weird, I guess you could call it dark place. I had some things that were going on at the time and I just, I just was like lost to be honest. I was like going to school and I'm like, I'm going for business. I couldn't even like focus in school. It was just like, I was just like uninterested, uninspired. And um, a few things had happened and I have everything written down. Like I want to do like 10 things you didn't know about me and maybe like share a little bit of that. In that type of video but um so I just kind of like hit a point where I was like what am I doing like I want to do something like more meaningful and something that like I don't know that can like inspire people so it was the beginning of August I think around when I started a Facebook page and I figured I would start posting like beauty tips um, like I said I was always into makeup I was freelancing at the time and the only way that was really available on how to like learn stuff about beauty was really like magazines that was like the main source so I was like you know what let me start posting stuff online that way not only can I direct my clients to come check out like my page I can just help people like on the internet so I had like probably like 5,000 Facebook friends which obviously I didn't know majority of them um, so it was kind of just like a way to share like my little tips and tricks with people that you know I would never meet on a day-to-day -day basis and I don't know if I've ever shared this, I probably did, but when I was in high school, I think like my senior year, I posted like two videos onto YouTube, like just for fun. No way, it was on a different account and I have no idea where those were, I tried finding them. So I had posted those just for like fun, not ever knowing or thinking that like it would actually become a thing for me. So I can remember, it was during the summer, so I was working at a golf course. I sold like food and drinks and I remember like parking the little car in like the middle of the there was like a lot of different paths and there were like different paths where I could like kind of hide where no one could see me and I remember every single day I would when I would go there I would go and I would post like my daily beauty tips um which was so cool and so much fun so 
that's kind of like how it started. I was just like, you know what, let me create an online outlet to share my little like tips and tricks with people. And shortly after, I remember I wanted to create my channel just to kind of have a, an outlet for my actual clients to like go to because I would sit there and I feel like I've told the story a million times, but I would sit there and I'd write down every product that I would use. So that's really like what inspired me to start. And obviously I had no idea what it could turn into. I had no intention of even making money or anything like that going into it. So it's not like I could sit here and be like, okay, like I planned my future and I knew what it could be because that's so not the case. But I think that's like the coolest part about it is like when I got into it, like it was just for the love of makeup. I wasn't doing it to make money. I was doing it just to kind of like inspire people because for me, I knew like putting on a full face of makeup and feeling good about yourself, like it really could affect your mood. And by learning different things about outward beauty, it would in turn like help with internal beauty and how you felt about yourself as well. So that was like my main mission going into it. And it still is to this day. So. I just can't even remember where my mindset was at because it has been so long but I'm just so grateful that I kind of like took a chance on something that was like unknown and we kind of like weird at the time like no one was really doing it and you know I had people from my hometown like talking about me and like making comments and all that and oh she never went to beauty school and like how could she be like giving advice when all that kind of stuff and I just ignored it and I kept going with it because I don't know I just like had this like drive to just keep doing it. I don't know, but I'm just so grateful whatever it was that kept me going because I am a very sensitive person and when people are talking about me bad, especially people that I know and I've met and interacted with, like it's hard, you know, it's hard to just kind of like push through it, but I'm just so grateful that that young little insecure 20 year old decided to go go ahead and move forward with it and you know, through the years I'm just so grateful that I kept up with it because this is literally a dream job and I'm so blessed and honored to be in this position and time freaking flies by like I remember I filmed my um, like recreating my first ever video and that was almost a year ago I was looking it up last night and I can't believe it's almost been a year so you know if you're in a position now where you're trying to change your life or start something new like don't look at don't look at everything from a year from now. Live it day by day because time flies by. And if you always look ahead, you're never gonna like live in the moment and just like appreciate every little thing. So just like take it everything day by day, step by step. Don't feel pressure and don't compare yourself because we are in a day and age now where everything's on social media. Don't believe what you see. A lot of it is just all like a facade and you know, just do what you love and the rest will follow. Be a good person though. That's like one thing I can never stress enough is like when you do good and you're a good genuine person, not only can you look at yourself in the mirror and put your head down on the pillow every night feeling good, but good things will just be attracted to you by you putting that energy out there. And that's 100% why I believe I am in the position that I am in now because I always was a nice good person and that's what I put out there. So that's just like one piece of advice that I would give anybody out there trying to make their dreams come true and if you believe in yourself anything is possible and I know it sounds so stupid and cliche because everyone says it but I genuinely like with everything that I have like I believe that that's the truth so <sighs> so for brows of course my Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm using granite this one's actually like done I need a new one I think I have yeah, I just opened a new one I love a fresh one so I'm gonna fill in the brows So I also just got in, it's like not even open yet, this new LA Girl setting spray with the shimmer in it, which I love. So this is in which color? Rose gold. So let's try it out. I love like how this goes on. It's like such a mist that um, it's not going to leave. You know when you use a setting spray and it like kind of like spits at you, <laughs> which actually a lot of them do. So this went on really nice. I just hope it doesn't make me too shimmery, which it kind of did. It's okay. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of like this yellow and pink from the Shade and Light palette together to just highlight under my eyes. And it brightens it, of course. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of like the peach and go over the sides of the nose. 
So I'm sure by now you guys have heard that the uh, Amazon rainforest is on fire. When I found this out last week, I swear I was like actually like depressed. Like my mood was just really bad. I just like couldn't stop thinking about it. And you know, I don't know enough about certain things to like publicly talk about like the politics end and stuff like that. But um, what I do know is that they've been clearing land in the rainforest for years and years now trying to make more room for cattle and I was like talking to a friend the other night about it and I just like made a comment which I wanted to like ask you guys too because it's just so crazy like when you think of cows and you think of milk like do you guys think cows just produce milk like all the time so like, most people think like a cow just produces milk and that's why we drink cow milk but What's crazy, and I didn't know this either until I actually learned a couple of years ago, but cows only produce milk after they give birth. Just like any other mammal, just like humans, we produce milk after we give birth. And then the cow only produces milk for a short period of time after the baby is ripped away from them, which is just terrible. So what they constantly are doing is they're constantly getting them pregnant over and over and over again, having them give birth, and then that's how milk is produced from cows, which is just honestly so disgusting and that's just like the least of the problem and what's even more crazy is how people are saying air pollution it comes like the biggest problem and the biggest cause of air pollution is from like cars and stuff like that when the biggest issue is really coming from like cow farts which is it sounds crazy so i don't know all of the like statistics and all that you guys want to go check it out yourself but cow farts are 10 times worse for the environment and what's contributing to global warming. And the amount of livestock that we have just to try and feed all the humans is absolutely insane. So do your research. There's a documentary called Cowspiracy that I definitely recommend watching. It's not like one of those where like animals are being murdered and you can't handle seeing it. Like I think you really should watch it just for like the facts because it's so interesting. And the fact that they're burning down our largest rainforest, which produces an insane amount of oxygen for this world is just really scary and humans are the main cause of all of this so we really need to get our shit together and i swear it was like genuinely affecting my like daily habits like i couldn't do anything i was just like in this weird little like funk for a couple of days so please just do your research um i donated and i recommend you guys donating as well to help in any way shape or form that we can because these fires are literally like impossible to be put out and it's just absolutely heartbreaking to think of all the animals and not only the animals but like this is gonna affect our world like we have one earth to live on like why do people not care why do people not think about this stuff everyone's so consumed in their daily lives that they don't think about the bigger picture and they don't think about like community as a whole like yes you care about your family and your friends and your close-knit group but until you can like embrace and like care about a large population like the entire earth like our world is honestly screwed so I know there's so many people out there that are so caring and they want to help in whatever way that they can and if you just do a little bit of research and how you can help just you alone if everyone just worried about themselves and fixing little daily habits that we are doing on our own it will in turn help create a bigger picture because everyone's always worried about how I can help this how I can help that and they're not focusing on like the one person that they can actually change you can never change anybody you can you know spread information and try to guide people but it's just a really important thing that everyone needs to just take some time to just like do some research on because like without our earth where are we gonna live like this is a huge turning point in our lives and we are all here for a reason we're all alive during this period for a reason so we all need to get on the same wavelength and just like figure everything out moving on to eyes i'm going to be using the jackie Ina palette from anastasia beverly hills and it's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with all the colors. I'm probably gonna stick to the more neutrals because of the idea of like my full outfit and what I wanted to do for today. I'm probably gonna go in first with Ginger. It's a pretty matte, like orangey tone shade. I have rhinestones stuck to my brushes. I'm gonna take that first and apply that into the crease. What do I have with a straight edge? Why not, right? Whatever works. Um, I'm gonna just put it right there. And I love to like drag it out far. Just makes your eyes look more sultry. So if you use anything with a straight line, that works. As I pull out my hair. And I always like to apply it 
to the nose contour um, line because it makes everything look better and it makes it look more real of course because when you have shadows and you have bones everything's connected you can't just have like a floating bone in the middle of nowhere so i'm sure you've heard all these things before but if you didn't just a little heads up i'm gonna take the color edges which is a little bit of like an orange it's like a little bit of like a peachy tone and i'm gonna apply that right right in my crease And I'm gonna take a tiny bit of credit and just apply that right on the outer V. I'm so happy for Jackie, by the way. I love everything she puts out, but this is like really, really exciting. So I love the colors, they're really, really beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take Soleil, is that how you pronounce it? The lightest shade here, and I'm gonna go here just to highlight the inner so I'm kind of like going right below where that nose contour line is as you can see so that's just gonna emphasize everything a little bit more as well and then I'm gonna take a little bit of Zam and I'm gonna apply that just like right along where I'm gonna apply my eyeliner I think that's like really it for eyes. I mean, I'll go over all the colors as I always do, but I think I just kind of want to keep it like that because I'm going to do some rhinestones and I don't like doing like crazy amounts of makeup. Um, let me grab an eyeliner. So now for liner, I'm using the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. I really screwed this one up. I put the cap on. I put the cap on and like it's all, you can't really tell, but I had to like cut the little edges that were all messed up. So I'm going to line my upper lash line. So what I've been doing, because I do have the lash extensions, but when I want them to be like a little bit more intense, <laughs> these are Ardell Wispies right here. So I like to just kind of cut them in half and then apply them just on the outer edge. So I cut like three or four chunks, I hate that word, off the front and then I will apply them on the edges. So now I'm gonna go in while the uh, lashes are drying. I'm gonna go in with ginger and I'm just gonna like emphasize that line. And I'm gonna highlight under with Soleil. I'm gonna highlight my nose with that one also. Ooh, yeah, pretty. I'm gonna go back in with Zam and just go over, like right above the, the line. I love how that looks. With just like the center, like matte, it's just my eyelid, but you don't even need anything there. So let's pop these little suckers on. So hard with these nails, let me tell you. See how it just kind of adds like a little bit of extra and then for my lower lash line, what do I want to do? I'm going to just do ginger, I believe. We'll see. I love this color, by the way. It's a perfect burnt orange. So now for the fun part. I'm going to do rhinestones. So I have orange ones. So I'm going to apply in the center first just to make sure it's not too big. It should be fine, but let's just make sure. So same thing as my last tutorial. If you guys want like a really close up view, um, I did that for my last one. Since this is a get ready with me, I usually just do my get ready with me's in like the same fashion where I'm not switching the lens or anything. So I'm gonna take this lash glue, it's like a duo lash glue, and I'm going to apply on the center of my eyelid. And then I have smaller ones for the inner. So 
Next is mascara. This is the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior. And my bottom mascara as well. I'm just gonna do a little powder so it doesn't turn black, which it tends to always do for some reason. So while my bottom lashes are drying, I just got this new Milani Instant Glow Powder. It's called Glowing. It looks like a pretty shimmer bronzer, so I'm gonna try a little bit. Yeah. Pretty. Just like a little on my cheeks. I think I can wipe this off now. And my brand new lip collection with Il Maquillage is restocking tomorrow, which by the time you see this video, it's probably gonna be today. So go check it out. I am praying it doesn't sell out again. I think this time around we're going to be good for a couple weeks. That's my goal. Um, but if not, we'll be restocking. So I'm going to take the color Luna and line my lips. And I'm going to go in with Bible lipstick. You just need a tiny bit. And then I like to just kind of shade it in. Oh, I love this nude, it's literally everything. I think I'm gonna keep it matte. I was gonna do a gloss, but I'm kind of loving the matte with this look. And then for blush, I'm using Lady Marmalade, which is a mineral blush from Il Maquillage. I love it. It's like a little bit of a peachy color and it's mineralized so it has like a shimmer to it, which is nice. Okay, so let's move on to the hair. I'm gonna just section off my hair and I'm gonna use this iron right here. I got this off of Amazon, triple barrel, and I'm gonna take small-ish sections of hair and start waving it like this. So I'm just gonna continue throughout the hair. So this morning I woke up and all five of my cats were on the bed with me. I'll insert the photo. What is this in my hair? What is that? Oh my god, there's a piece of an eyelash in my hair. Oh. It was amazing. Whenever I travel, Bear always pees on my bed, which she did again. So annoying. Um, but he gets really like sensitive when I travel. And this year, since no last November, Every single month I traveled at least one time, sometimes even twice every month, which has been so crazy. It was an amazing year and I had a lot of fun. It was just a lot, a lot of traveling. So I think my cats, you know, they get mad at me. If it weren't for them, I would travel more often and I have no problem with it. But um, yeah, Bear gets the most, Bear and Baby Man get the most sensitive. So we're just going to continue this all throughout the hair. So for the front piece, you want to hold it a little even, like a little less, so that way you don't get like a crazy cramp, like just like that. Same thing for the front piece. You want to make sure you're not holding it too too long, otherwise it makes like this weird. And then so now I'm debating if I want to keep it like this or like do two little pins. I think I'm gonna put a little mousse and leave it. So I'm going in with the R and Co styling mousse. I'm almost out of this one. I'm just going to apply it throughout my hair, just a little bit. OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna go put my matching shorts on and I'll show you guys the full outfit in a minute. You got issues that makes you a fuss But someone's gotta change If we never ever met before If I never opened up my door Yeah, 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 yeah If we never ever got to start If it never opened up my heart Yeah, 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 yeah You're about to lose me Make sure to go check out my lip collection, which is available right now for purchase. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.